Hey friends, <clears throat> it's been a while since I posted um, and there's a good reason for that. I know I look a little worse for wear because I've had influenza and it has kicked my butt. But I think I'm on the mend now, so I want to start sharing you, sharing with you some of the changes that uh, we're doing in the shop now that we're finally getting all the Christmas stuff put away. And <clears throat> Valentine's comes so quickly, and then right on top of it, Easter is very early this year. So I want to share with you just a few of the things that I put out, and um, I hope you enjoy looking at the store. And if you're so inclined, subscribe. If you remember, this table had um, all the Boyd's Bairds on it. So what we do is, how fun is this? These are just adorable. I got these on Whatnot, and I just love them. They're signed, they're fun, they're, um, they're all made by the same individual. They're sweet. And I also got this on what these on Whatnot too. And, I just think they're fun. So what we're doing, you can see, we're transitioning to Easter slowly, um, even though it's not here, but we'll transition and kind of get things moved in and change things up a little bit. And that's what's happening here. <clears throat> These are also some items I've picked up on whatnot. Um, it's hard for me to find old books. I mean, there's always lots of books at Goodwill and all of those areas, but I picked these up and there's some really great ones there. So we put them in the display and I've got more that are coming out. So that'll be kind of highlighted. here. I moved all of the cow stuff away. So it's over here on this shelf. That's why I brought in all these shelves because I'm hoping to move things back and forth, you know, to displays. Aren't those little guys cute? So cute. <clears throat> <sighs> and I showed this earlier but I just wanted to show you that I put the light there and I think it really uh, adds a little punch to that display the yellow display and we move the pigs the pigs move from one spot to another spot in the store that's what they do Show you some of these cute things. These guys are so cute. Little pig fabric. Someone made these and aren't they cute? They just stenciled on a little uh, vintage piece of linen and it's just adorable. <clears throat> that's like the only, uh, the Mackenzie one that's so popular. That's the only piece I've ever had in the shop. And this little girl's been here a long time. It's an artisan piece, and no one has ever taken her, but someone will, because she's lovely. And I know I've shown this display, but you can see how we're starting to put in, uh, you know, spring-like things. Maybe that's just wishful thinking on my part. But we've got uh, the goose there, and it looks pretty cute. And you can see here, these are some of the shelves that we have. And things move, will be moving, you know, we'll, we'll move the displays back and forth. And yet people who come in can look for what they are looking for. I've never shown you this part of the shop very often. This is our fabric and uh, yarn and homemade rugs and those kinds of items. That's, that's what's over here. And I had these little houses custom made for my fabric and so far seems to be working well. One of our Valentine's table I just purchased a bunch more very old Valentine's that I will put over here on whatnot. Those are the kinds of things that I don't come across very often so that's why I go to whatnot for it and of course whatnot can have really great buys sometimes. More Valentine's Day, kind of going with the pastels here. This will transition nicely into Easter. So, um, it's fun. 
And these are Valentines that we made last year. They're just old pieces of quilt that are put on a piece of paper. And look at these sweet little birds. I got several of those. Of course, there's a framed Valentine. I love this display. It's all my fish and my loose sight. Love that jar. Somebody did that. And it's just, I think, so fun. There's an older um, tea light thing made in Japan. Lucite, somebody's project. Look up here. This I got off of Whatnot. In love with it, little planter. Probably will give it to my brother for his birthday. I'm not sure. Because he's a fisherman. But my older son is turning into quite the fisherman as well. And then here's the lucite. It's kind of been messed up here. I don't know what's going on. Let's fix that. Nice bright display. I like it. My fish. I don't know that I've ever shown you how we do the pillows. Uh, we take um, small pieces of uh, quilted stuff and then we'll make it into a pillow. And then this one is a vintage um, tablecloth with a doily on it. That's cute. Kind of went with the apple theme here. <clears throat> this is one uh, thing that we need to change up. Just starting this display. Isn't this a fun tumble up? It just happens to be like my favorite stuff. And these are mid-century mugs, owl mugs. I've had these forever. The lids are in bad shape, but I just cannot part with them. I think somebody will love them someday. This you may have seen in the video I picked up in Oregon. They're so cute. Th those two are mid-century. <clears throat> hey friends, I'm home now under a blanket. <clears throat> Still trying to beat this influenza. But thank you for watching the video and I hope the displays gave you some ideas. But most importantly, be well.